Hey everybody, this is my name Jester, and welcome to, uh, hold on, welcome to, to, come on, Jesus, Super Pang, I don't know, this is, uh, gonna be one of my Let's Play singles, it's sort of like a series, I suppose, I'm gonna do this probably once or twice each week, just do a different game, they're not gonna be full LPs, they're just gonna be, uh, one shots, I suppose you could call them. And, uh, yeah, so we're gonna play some Super Pang. This game is for the, uh, the arcade. I'm using MAM to emulate it. Because, I mean, come on, MAM's the shit. We're gonna do Panic Mode. It's pretty much all you do is you run around and you shoot balls. That's right, you shoot big, bouncy red balls. And you gotta break them apart. I believe in Panic Mode you get all the, uh, the abilities beforehand. Well, the abilities you want anyway. Huh, I don't know. Maybe I want to do tour mode. Because this, yeah, this is, believe it or not, the whole gameplay. And then when you do, uh, panic mode, pretty much the only power-up you get is the ability to, um, freeze time for short amounts of time, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty lame power-up, but still. This game, I don't remember playing it too much, but, uh, Back a while back before I learned how to get across the proxies and the school computers, uh, there was a gaming site, and this was on there. It was a different version, but this is the closest I could find. There is a console version of Pang called uh, Ball Buster Brothers for the Super Nintendo. At least that's the only one I can find. Get out of here, Wim Chow, you silly kitty. Yeah, I hope I hope my voice is coming out clear because for some reason a lot of time I can't hear it on this mic, which is why I need to get a new one. Yeah, I'm still on the hunt for a new mic. Oh no, time is getting crazy. We need to pop these balls. Yeah, but if you ever get stuck, you want to just aim right towards here in the corner. And that power up just took us to the next level. Yeah, we're at level 12 right now. 13, I guess. Yeah, the levels are the levels progress really fast. I remember me and my friends used to try to keep it going, see who can get the farthest. This game also has a two-player mode, so we would try to play that too. Although the two-player mode's a bit difficult. Ah! Let's shoot balls! Pang! Yeah, this, this is the only time I could ever think that balls and shooting them were fun, but apparently they are. Oh yeah, level 15. We're getting crazy here. Level 18. Damn, that's what I call some pang. Some serious pang. Yeah, so every level the balls get a little bit faster. Oh, And when you lose a life, that happens. Pretty crazy, right? Just a crazy freaking game, this Pang. Yeah, there's not really much I can say, like, in terms of strategy for this game. Except, you probably, if the balls are coming down too quickly, and you're trying to avoid them, you might want to just, like, hug the corners. Because you can just kind of create a barricade right here. And barricade yourself in, away from the balls. Like I'm doing right now. Although some would consider this cheating, but what are you gonna do? Oh, a time ball! A time ball, come on! Yay, time ball. Yeah, freaking crazy. I mean, this is just a fun little arcade game that you can play. I'm about to die in a minute here. Yeah, level 22. Usually I can make it to like level 40 something before I die, but uh, my name is CCB, yes. Alright, let's hit the one player button, shall we? We're going to try tour mode really quick. Yeah, tour mode, or tour mode is a lot like the other one, except you don't have any power-ups. And you can get like power-ups like the double shot, which we had from the beginning last time but now it's a power up and you get different things for points like fruit and stuff just crazy stuff you know how it is 
and you fly all around the world, I guess. Like right now we're in some place in China, I'm guessing. I think you start off in Japan and you end up in like China or you end up in America, I don't know. Yeah, there are some power-ups, like right now I'm just getting the double grappling hook or whatever it is. The double hook. And that was a pause. Yeah, I don't actually know how much is coming out in the trans- or the- the audio. Fruits! Of the loom! But yeah, you pretty much just shoot these balls. That's all it is. Super pain. Shooting balls, taking names. Oh no, we're getting into some serious stuff. Now we're playing against Hectagon's craziness. Yeah, so... Also, you can't shoot another one until your shot makes it all the way to the top or hits something. I kind of wasted my time there. And then you'll get, like, random things, like those birds just flying into the... And that gave me the power-up. Which is pretty cool, because now I can beat this stage rather easily. Watch him just say that, now I'm going to die. Oh no, we were in Java. I don't know where that is. Now I'm guessing we're in China, because we got some weird Chinese music playing. Or at least I'm going to... Oh my god, bombs from Final Fantasy! Great bombs of fire! And this is an overshield. Or it was an overshield until I was an idiot and I died. Oh, this is the best power in the game. The Contra Spreader. Oh, but I lost it. And I died. Come on. I'm just sucking today. Yeah, we'll continue. I mean, because there's not much else I can really show in the panic mode. Yeah, taste Contra Spreader. Although I don't really want to go there probably the best in the entire game the best shooter anyway oh come on although it doesn't have one thing that this thing does and that you can create like a barrier until that goes up yeah forget that bomb he's just gonna fly away on us and we win huzzah for us this level is actually kind of a pain in the ass if you don't manage it carefully because these balls will kill you. They're deadly. Oh, fuck. See? Deadly. Oh, deadly again. I like how you just shoot in, like, the opposite direction. I actually got really lucky there. Yeah, as you can see, these balls are just going to keep dropping like that. Oh, God. Pineapples. You can't jump in this game, though. That's kind of weird. I think it would be a much more successful game if you could jump. Yeah, I don't know. What am I talking about? I don't know nothing about no games. Oh! Panged me right in the face. Well, that's all I'm going to play for. This has been Super Pang, and this has been Millennium Jester. Signing out. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if there's any suggestions for new games for me to do, just put them in the comments. Uh, this is Millennium Jester, signing out. Have a nice day.